Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name's Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you guys, beautiful viewers. If you're new to this channel, welcome here. Um, and if you are returning, I am so grateful you found your way back to me again. You guys are all very safe and welcome in, in this space with me today. Today's reading, um, I have asked Spirit to provide you with how you can overcome your greatest challenge right here, right now. Best way for you to overcome whatever energetically is coming up around you and what you can do. So I don't know how much of your challenge per se will be looking at so much as how you can overcome said challenge. Okay, so this is a pick a card. We will pick our three cards or three options right now. If at any point you're drawn to your option, the timestamps are in the description box and in the pinned comment below. It will take you directly to your pick. We'll pick three options. And as usual, please use your intuition. All right, this is something that should confirm your intuition. It should not be something that is completely shocking or devastating. Um, Although sometimes healing isn't fun. So we might hear things we're not prepared to hear. So if you are not in the mood for this reading, because this reading could be quite triggering, then maybe you can go find another reading or another reader on YouTube that might deliver a message for you today. All right, this will be specific. I don't know how many of you guys will be resonating with this message, but we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message. For the greatest and highest good of the viewers in regards to what can they do in order to overcome the greatest challenge that they're faced with right here, right now? What can they do? Spirit, can we get three options, please? Thank you so, so much. All right, so let's pick your three cards. We'll pick charms as well. Option one. Option two and option three. All right, so I will be flipping them over shortly. One, two, three. All right, so for option one, we have the little one rises, card number 18 or number nine. The little one rises. Option number two, we have 29 with Blessing of the Kite Dancer. Or number 11. Beautiful. And option number three, we have 13 with Grace in Full Flight. Wow. Okay. So let's pull the charms and then we will leave the video running for a bit for you guys okay for option one your charm is this key it has a heart and the heart has wings on it i don't know if you guys can see this a key with a heart and wings on it okay the little one rises and then for option number two Oh, you guys also have a heart with uh, an arrow through it. Interesting. Okay, a heart with an arrow running through it. And option number three. Ooh, you guys have this lizard. It looks kind of like it could be a gecko. It's kind of like a gecko. Okay. Keep it there. And I will move this out of our way. All right. So option one, option two, option three. Like I said, I'll leave the video running for a bit. And if you are called to more than one of these, it could certainly be there's multiple messages, aspects of your challenge here that spirit is wanting to communicate to you. So lean in on your intuition and I will see you at your pick.
hello my beautiful pile one you guys picked the little one rises card number 18 and then the key with a heart and wings as your charm um so i pre-shuffled oracle cards i've not looked at any of them um the question we asked spirit was what sort of great obstacle or challenge are you trying to overcome and what's the best course of action you can take to overcome this challenge all right so i don't know how much of the challenge we will see um i'm sure we might see enough for us to be able to deliver um and communicate what it is you're supposed to be doing so it's whatever energy is the strongest right now in regards to the challenge that you're overcoming and what you're supposed to be doing. So with this little one rises, there's lots of sort of meanings um, with this card. Although the theme is pretty much the same. It's like overcoming, well, it's overcoming obviously a challenge and an obstacle, but that it is at its kind of early stages of nurturing. And if you're trying to, let's say, grow a business, um, a hobby, a career, something doesn't seem to be working. And it, it sometimes is a card of our environment might not be supporting us. Okay. It might not be fostering the growth. We might be wanting to expand a family, a business, um, you know, take something kind of to the next level that seems stuck or seems impossible, or maybe even we don't believe in our own sort of ability or that other people aren't believing in that. Um, it can also be your environment. It could be bullying you in some way here um, where it's not supporting what you're envisioning. So there's conflict here. But I feel as though with everything that I've said, I mean, there, there certainly could be more here. It's like a seedling needing the right environment in order to grow and that the Divine Mother is there to assure you that whatever you're trying to take off the ground or expand will be successful and that any sort of people situation that is opposing um, you're not supposed to fall into fear and you are to stand your ground and be confident that divine mother has your back not to let the fear not to fight aggression with aggression um and to maybe not overshare any information with anyone you feel is not supportive of you at this time now what i was going to say was because of this heart and this key uh, I feel like there is something that is speaking to your heart and I feel you feel stuck and I feel like you want to be set free, but I feel like there's a lot of, um, oppressing things. It could be just a situation, people, circumstance that I feel has your heart stuck on something but i feel like you want to be set free is kind of what i feel here with this key in this heart okay freedom to choose another path because i feel like this path isn't working for you now like i said this card could mean that you don't see that this path is working for you because you're losing hope and and, and, it, and this means that not to give up on your dream, not to give up on your hope, that your circumstance and your situation could certainly be one that's not supportive of it um, taking off, but you don't need support from anyone or anything other than the Divine Mother that wants you to believe in it. So I feel like maybe what we're doing is putting a lot of weight and responsibility and expectation on external people, situations, and things in order for us to find the answer we need to get what we want. But I don't know what the heck I'm going to see with all these cards. This will be interesting. But what I'm getting is that there is nothing external in your environment that is going to set you free. That the freedom you seek, and it is very cliche, is already within you. But how do we get there? Okay, so that's what I'm getting from this so far. Um, 
let's take a look. We have lots of cards. I have tarot as well. Um, this will be a different type of reading based on the cards that I've pulled. So let's take a look. What do you have? You have unconditional love. My heart is free from resentment towards others. I open the eyes of my heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. I am aware that suffering can cause distress and hurt in people. I see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness. Big heart here again. Let's slide those over. We have wind chimes, peace and harmony. All right, it's definitely following the same theme here. We have 39 with a magic touch. You are accessing accessing true magic from deep within. Yes, what was I saying? It comes from within. Very much from within. Okay, so 39 is also the number 12. And the 12th house is all about endings and closure. It's about limiting beliefs and our subconscious. I feel there are limitations here that we are seeing as a limitation. I'm feeling eight of swords. Okay. And sometimes limitations come from our understanding or idea that other people might instill in us or that we see as a limitation that is not necessarily true. Um, because there is no real limitation outside of the ones we're imagining or putting on us or tell ourselves. So I'm feeling that, but I'm also feeling from this uh i'm feeling a hangman energy which is a need to shift our perception and the hangman is a card of enlightenment because you get information that's what this key is about and knowledge and an understanding in order to see things clearly Okay, it's about enlightenment. It's about seeing things clearly, seeing things from a different perspective in order to have a, a shift in and a change in a major way and to change things around. Okay, lots coming from that magic touch. We have protect. You're being asked to protect yourself and your energy. It's okay to want to give to others, which you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. So in this card, like I was telling you, it was talking about being very cautious with who we share our vision with, who we share completely with, because I feel like your environment isn't supporting your heart's content. It's not supporting your idea, your what you need as your soul food here. But I feel you feel stuck to it. So I, I feel like you want to be set free here. Okay, so there's protect. And we have trusting in destiny. Oh my goodness, number two. Two is all about choices. It's about balance. It could be about partnership. Trusting in destiny. Wheel of fortune energy coming through. This card also does speak of wheel of fortune because there's something that's destined to happen for you. Okay. Um, the little one rises. It's like that hobby, that career, that business, that partnership, that relationship, that family, whatever it is that you're wanting to cultivate here is destiny and it's made to happen here, but your environment here is restricting you. Okay. So trusting in destiny, we have safe shelter. Oh my goodness. Protect safe shelter. Number eight. Look at that. Okay, eight uh, is the strength card in the tarot. Okay, it's about having courage uh, so we can face things that we might be too afraid, fearful to face, um, specifically when it comes to allowing ourselves to move forward in this in this um, spread. What I feel is taking a step forward in a direction. We might be a little too held back by a limitation here but we are being asked to protect and to have shelter so i'm not sure your environment is the right environment to press forward so we need to know where are we safe where do we hold back how do we lay boundaries where we're supposed to and then where do we allow ourselves to invest and push forward okay we have balance look at that two people again partnership coming through the yin the yang and this is integrating 
Okay, the shadow with the light in order to remain balanced. Something might be very imbalanced here. And this is giving me the two as well. Okay. We have grace, number seven. Grace, that comes through with this unconditional love and this peace and harmony. That's a beautiful card. Take a look at that, Grace. Okay. We have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. And we have health. I honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. That's a green coming through. Green is heart chakra. Okay, we have the flying fish, leap of faith, exploration, let go. Affirmation, I take my leap of faith with freedom and grace. Trust that you will know the right moment to take your leap of faith. When your intuition guides you to take a step, do so without hesitation or doubt. No obstacle will be able to stop your progress. You have what it takes to successfully overcome any challenge or distraction and fulfill your life's purpose, open yourself to a new adventure and explore new worlds. Your instincts will protect you from negative influences. Do not be reluctant to let go and take a leap of faith. Have confidence in yourself and in spirit. That is this card coming through very, very strong. Flying fish, take a look at that. Mermaid. Okay. We have the flamingo says authenticity, nourishment, and individuality. The affirmation is my beauty is unique and inspirational. Look at that. All right. Give yourself permission to find your own way to live. If you do not feel like you can be your authentic self, check what influences you have allowed into your mind and into your life. Do you need to change your spiritual diet in some way? So you are taking in more physical, emotional, or mental nourishment. Don't be afraid to show your true colors. When you allow the real you to be seen, others will be able to recognize your beauty and grace. Interesting. Don't hide yourself or deny yourself what you need to flourish, including a wild and free heart. Free heart. The heart with wings. You want your heart to be free. Okay. Lots being tied in here in your reading. We have... Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and, and worth that come from just being you. Magic coming through again. Okay, hopefully we have enough space for all this. I might just do this for now. So that we can fit these cards here. Okay. We have surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. Now we were saying don't fight aggression with aggression with this card. Okay. So we might be tempted to fight fire with fire in some way here. Let's keep going. We have solar plexus chakra with um, Manipura. Okay, solar plexus is all about uh, having the confidence. And this is the third chakra. Um, qualities, vitality, determination, conscious action, and divine will. Okay. We have this card that says the witch with ex experimentation. Why does that look weird? Experimentation and rebellion. Okay. We have the wolf. The wolf. And finally, we have Sanit. Kumara with light activation. 
Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay. Just let me sit with this energy for a little bit. And yes, let me just see these cards because they're not really where I want them. Okay. Okay, let me sit with this for a little bit and tap into this energy. Okay, pile one, um, there's a little bit of uh, multiple things coming through here. We spoke about a lot of it with this first card here, okay? The rest kind of supporting it in some way. So I do feel an energy here, and I'm not quite sure if it's yours. I, I do feel like it could be you and slash someone else around you, okay? Um that that I feel is instilling some sort of doubt in you, okay? Um, but what I'm seeing here is like, are we putting a lot of weight on other people and the situation around us as something that is the reason why we're in a situation in the first place. Okay, let me say that again. It's like, if we have a dream, if we have a hope and a desire and a passion and an understanding of something we want for ourselves, okay? Uh, a, a, a hobby we want to turn into a business, um, a dream business we want to expand bigger, um, we want to create a family. So... In the in current environment that you're in, you see this as a big obstacle for the reason why you're unable to achieve said thing. Now, for granted, obviously, you know, in order to have a family, I mean, you, you got to have people who are, are willing, but, but the onus is on you to understand that everything that you want to create is something that's going to come from within you and if your environment is not supportive and is not reflective of it it is up to you to not see that as a limitation but to transcend past that to be confident enough to release what isn't serving you in your life And that isn't something that is going to change on its own, that your external people or your world all of a sudden are going to get convinced of something different, that the more you try to force it, convince it, or give it time, that it's going to change, that the more you accept what's going on around you, as it kind of is the way it is with grace and with unconditional love for the value it provided you or is providing you in the service it's giving you, although it might appear as though it's limiting, it really isn't. And that might be tough to hear, okay? Because what it is doing is providing you with a level of service or a level of what it needs to but what you need in order to create your own magical dream is to go for it. That comes from within. And sometimes when we fear, the, 
doing something, whatever it takes to get there, is because we might fear that then it becomes real. Then we actually have to take that step, which would require a lot of faith. So I think you doubt that you can actually have what it is that you want. And I think you are saying to yourself or understanding something, and we all do this, and the understanding is that you know you want whatever said thing is, okay? And you might even say, well, I'm capable of this and, and believe it on some level. But in your subconscious, there is doubt. And instead of facing this doubt that it's something from within, we then shift it to because of this set of circumstances, because of this set of people, because of this thing, I am therefore unable to accomplish what I want. And Spirit is saying, you are able to accomplish what you want. Do not doubt that you're incapable of this and that you do not need buy-in from your environment or your people here. That you can work towards this. You do not have to have conflict with anything around you or anyone around you to make it happen because this will happen with the right set of people and circumstances as it's supposed to once you allow yourself to accept the fact that that's what you want and you want to go for it and then shift your energy towards that not being held back not having any doubt trusting that you're destined for this because I feel like it's really pulling towards you. So I feel like a part of you is living a role right now. And I, I kind of get this energy when I read, um, it doesn't have to be, but when I read Libra heavily for, for the Zodiac horoscope readings, I, I usually get the sa same sort of feeling here. Okay, and I mean, we have balance here, which is a Libra card, but the feeling that I have here is of someone living a role that isn't authentic to who they are. And the more they're in this role, the more unhappy they become because they feel removed and, and they feel like they're not attaining what they want, like they're unable to achieve something or capable of doing it and it becomes because of their circumstances or their inability but there is no inability here and so the drama we create is the one that we're making up okay um now i'm not saying that i'm that your setbacks aren't real because you most likely have some setbacks in your environment. But then what Spirit's really showing is that this environment is supporting something else in your life or has supported something else in your life. Your, your circumstance, your people, whatever that is, is serving a purpose. And that for you to achieve, to accomplish the thing you want... It is not going to require your same set of tools or circumstances to move on to this phase. This is not something that requires you to pull from within. So we have magic touch, the magic of who you are, the authenticity, your individuality. I honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Like it's all about being self-empowered. And being honest with uh, accepting the fact that what you want, even if it's contradictory to your environment, or even if it's then says something about your said environment or your set of circumstances. It has to be something that you see and accept. But I, I feel as though there might be a not wanting to come to terms with 
what it would mean. Okay, what it would mean, like, if we then say, you know, let's, let's use, like, I don't know, like, let's say you're invested in a long-time career and that you know that your passion here is to pursue your hobby into a business and you're at the point where you kind of have to release that. And so we can say, you know, financially, I'm going to be not supported. We can say I've already invested a whole bunch of time here. I can't because I'm committed to this. And so we maintain in an environment that has served us in the past by doubting spirits and the universe to provide us with the support we need in order to roll out this thing. So we hang on to an inauthentic part of ourselves inside a career that maybe at one point was fulfilling at the expense of taking the chance or leaping into something here that is going to be speaking to our soul because now is the time. And so we could stay making all sorts of reasons that might be valid, but know that the weight you're putting on these reasons is more stemming from a place that you might not want to see what it means to hold the truth. You might not really trust that you can pull something off here and so it becomes easier to use everything else as a reason we cannot when spirit is showing here what you need to do is trust that you can that you have everything to make this happen you have to let go and take that leap of faith and that everything is an experimentation that nothing is ever uh, for sure and it starts at some point, but you are heavily protected here with this safe shelter. That there is nothing that's going to, that your greatest fear isn't going to come of this. That in order to find the freedom in your heart, this, this balance, this peace and harmony, you have to align to authenticity. You cannot stay in the same career or the same situation expecting different results and so we might fear having to be like this wolf okay because the wolf is is like some is a family wolf i mean the wolf has wolf packs they they go in groups they hunt in groups but The saying lone wolf is also said because sometimes the wolf has to do things on his own. And what I'm really feeling from this wolf howling at the moon kind of getting the same energy from this lady kind of looking out into the, the universe here. I, I feel as though Your subconscious has been calling to you and deep within you, like I said, is the truth of what you're destined to accomplish here. And I'm getting the same energy from this lady looking up as well. But we might be following the fear and we might be too focused on the alarms, which is the things that could go wrong. And so then we start to plant a doubt. And the wolf howls to send the alarms out to his wolf pack. So I feel the environment is playing a very big role here that there's a sort of like almost a codependency in your environment to keep alive this inauthenticity or this unhappiness in some way. Okay, and, and I know it's hard to hear that because why would we want to keep around an unhappiness? And we keep around an unhappiness because when we remove it, 
and then we have to put our money where our mouth is and make something happen that we know that we wanted to to do okay so do not doubt yourself allow your authenticity to come through allow yourself to follow where you're being guided without the fear getting in the way that you are protected that you do have the ability and that you don't need buy-in from anyone or anything around you to make this happen And so be of an energy that can accept your set of circumstances is something that provides you with some sort of service and some sort of support. But the service and support that you're now seeking is something that is going to be first grown from within you. And then your environment will slowly shift to support this. But you cannot force your circumstance or your situation here to be something other than what it is. Okay. Um, I feel there's more. I'm not sure what's more, but let's just pull some tarot then and see what the spirit wants to communicate to pile one spirit pile one's message i'm going to put these three back that didn't quite feel right but we will pull three cards so spirit for pile one clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good for pile one what are they needing to know here in regards to overcoming the biggest challenge that they're faced with right now Clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message. Thank you so, so much, Spirit. Kindly, can we please get some more for pile one? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Authenticity. Living in truth. Getting empowered to speak the truth walk the truth talk the truth okay and we have the crown here which is reminding me of empowered which is the solar plexus having the confidence to take action we have the hierophant and we have a key here okay key is all about knowledge so we can use the knowledge into wisdom and this way, that is the answer, the solution that we need in order to be aligned with our values. The Hierophant is all about the values, our lifestyle, living in authenticity, being very clear and certain about what we want and what we want to dedicate ourselves to. This is Taurus energy. And we have the Ace of Cups. So another Ace, new beginning in truth and a new beginning, emotional new beginning here with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is all about love, unconditional love. Okay, um, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups is about grace. Out of a situation that might have been challenging, we're now having grace in order to have a new beginning Ace of Cups is all about self, okay? So what sort of um, what sort of idea or understanding do we have about self? Do we understand our self-worth? Do we understand what values weigh the most for us? Are we in line with what our values are and, and the relationships we want to see for ourselves? Are we respecting ourselves in a way here that is in line with our self-worth? That we might say we understand our self-worth, but is our environment and what we're doing supporting that understanding? I feel you want a new beginning in something. And I feel your heart wants to be set free. 
And, and I feel like what Spirit's really showing is you have this key to do this. You have the understanding and the knowing here. But do you value it enough for you to become honest and put the doubt aside? To be very clear and go for it. I'm going to pull three more just because I want to know, I want advice. Like what spirit can pile number one do then? Exact steps here for pile one. We still have questions in regards to what are they supposed to do? Spirit, clear and concise message. Thank you so, so much. I'm so blessed. Thank you very much, spirit. Okay, so we have lust and this is this is not what is this this is the um strength card i'm gonna read it because it's not traditional it says lust oh my goodness okay well i wasn't expecting to see lust kind of getting uh the strength card and the devil card 11 which is normally justice or it could be strength and some tarot decks and then we have completion that's the Four of Wands. Okay, one more spirit. What exactly can Powell One do here? What steps can they take? We have Dominion, the Two of Wands. Okay, Two of Wands, Four of Wands. Lust. Well, I do want to read this because. It threw me completely off. Where is the book? Okay. Lusty lust. Now we know what lust is, but why do we have it here? Okay, so it says lust. Yeah, courage, strength, energy, use of magical power. Coming out again. Control of the life force. Great love affair. Great love affair. Okay. Look at this lust card. So we were feeling the strength card from this. Because I said eight. It was giving me strength, which is this. Okay, but this strength card is like... I'm feeling like the... the the blood of life here. Like something very, very much pulling you to give you life to make you feel alive again and so spirit is showing that in order to feed this thirst to bring you back to life like the blood force that you need there needs to be an honesty here and, and a real truth about are you in line with really seeing your self-worth and your value here and something that you're wanting to really passionately pursue as a new beginning four of wands this is you know this could represent our community our family this is um a celebration a coming together this could be a milestone a rite of passage I'm getting, it says completion, and then instead of the four wands, we see the wheel. Destiny's coming through again here, quite strong. I'm getting, it, it's like a community of people or a family situation that I feel is concluded in some cycle. It, it was destined to happen in some way. This is also the family card with the Hierophant, because this is traditions and values. I feel we need to conclude something about a community of people, a group of people or environment, conclude some understanding or some idea, come honest with something here in order for us to make a choice with this two of wands, this dominion. Okay. Two of wands is where the choice is ours. It comes from within. We can choose the wand that is the comfort zone, the wand that makes us do the same thing it makes us unhappy in, engages in drama 
makes the excuses day in and day out, stays in that same career, thinking about the business that they wanted to open. Or the other one, which is taking a leap of faith, following our passion, in line with our dharma, knowing what we're destined to do, trusting the universe, not doubting. And all of this could be done with unconditional love and grace. None of this has to be done out of an anger place. And so maybe we tell ourselves that in order to accomplish this, we have to, we have an idea in our mind, a narrative or a story of how it's supposed to go down or how it will go down. But Spirit is saying, let that all go. You don't need to communicate everything with everyone about your final thing, especially if you're just experimenting. They're on a need to know basis here. But you need to take action and you need to put an end to any phase that I feel might be holding you back from your next phase. Especially if you know that you're not being completely honest and, and empowering yourself to make a choice. Okay, so this is what I see, pile one. I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you're pulled to another pile, there certainly could be more in there. And I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile two. You picked the Blessing of the Kite Dancer, card 29 or 11, and the heart with an arrow running through it. So what were we asking Spirit? Well, we asked Spirit, what is it that you can do exactly to overcome the biggest challenge you have going on right now energetically around you? So what can you do? Uh, I don't know how much of the challenge we're going to see per se as the steps you can take uh, to overcome whatever is going on. So with this card here, this is telling me that you guys have a talent okay you guys have an ability and if you don't know what this is it is coming there is something that you're supposed to be developing in this lifetime a skill a talent an ability to do something and yes sometimes it takes work you know it takes commitment and it takes focus and it might take us places where it might be scary sometimes because we have to commit to the growth of whatever this is and so sometimes we're torn and we could be torn because we have other commitments and so we try to silence parts of whatever the the journey is that we're being called to take so i'm I'm seeing here with the heart and this arrow through it. Usually this to me is like, you know, we've been struck by something we can't unsee. So I feel like you'd probably know the passion or the desire of something, whether it's at its infancy stage or you've already started it, but it's not yet fully grown. But there's something that's already kind of has your heart okay like i said it, maybe it didn't manifest quite yet um in the real world but i feel like it's it's something in the heart space here that is being called to for you to accomplish um because you do have a, an ability and a skill a talent that you can foster and this will give back to humanity okay but also, what I'm feeling is that you might be torn here between other commitments and maybe other things that you have going on here. So you might feel selfish or you might feel, yeah, like you don't want to shift your energy to focus on this because it might require you to take your foot off the pedal in other areas of your life. This is also a card of the right people at the right time in order to help support us. And sometimes you're that person. So lots comes through with being able to teach others, guide others. And that's definitely an ability you might have here, okay? Um, or others are coming in to guide you, to teach you at this time. So this is what comes through with this. Now, let's pull the oracles that I have not looked at to see what sort of message we're getting here from Spirit. And then we will get into your reading. So, 
we have 68th with resolve. This is a period of indecision and inner conflict. Then it is time to make a decision. So something, yeah, struck your heart here. I feel like you're wanting to do something here. Okay, so, well, 68 um, is 14 when you reduce it. And 14, um, could be reduced to number five, which is about conflict and hitting that kind of breaking point, you know, um, when we crack something open. When you crack something open, there could be a lot of conflict, but it's it's needed in order to get to kind of the next step. So, yeah, I feel like you're really being pulled to something here and you're conflicted about choosing it. Okay, so we have the bowl, plenty of material things all that fruit lots of abundance we have it's time you're being asked to move forward towards the dream that you've been carrying in your heart oh my goodness it's time to bring it out into the world yes you're ready it's time wow you guys very powerful okay Yeah, and I want you guys to use your intuition, okay? Because I always say what you will see, feel, or hear in the reading to determine whether this is your message. So sometimes we see things that might trigger. Okay, we have a pineapple, a banana, a pear, an apple, and some cherries in this fruit bowl. So here we have 33, or the number 6, awareness of cosmic influences. Wow, 33 or the number 6. 13, recovery into grace. Look at that heart. Recovery into grace. 13 could be the death card in the tarot, which is Scorpio energy, all about transformation. We have spiritual growth. Wow. Yes, indeed. More hearts. <clears throat> we have 26 with decision. Interesting, because here we had the period of indecision and inner conflict, it's now time to make a decision. Decision, 26, or the number 8, coming out again. Did we have 8? No, we didn't. I don't know why I felt 8 was a number here. Okay, well, 8 is all about uh, having the courage and the strength in order to make a decision to face what we need to face. 26, look at this beautiful card. Decision, okay. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. We have the pelican. Abundance. Centering yourself and making choices. Coming out again. Affirmation. I am strong, confident, and abundant. You have the innate ability to attract many things into your world. So you can afford to be choosy about what you really want and need and leave all else aside. Balance your need to fly high with diving beyond the superficial into the deeper aspects of life. Look beneath the surface into the depth of the soul. Your inner visions will show you what is happening beyond mere appearances. Go after what you want directly, boldly, and with clear intention. You have the inner strength to protect you from outer circumstances. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Lots of this is tying into itself. Can you guys see? Oh, yes. Okay, good. We have Ladybug. Oh, Ladybird. My goodness, I said Ladybug. Okay, well, Ladybird. It says luck. Blessings and safety. Affirmation. Happiness arises from within my heart and sets me free. Oh my God, your heart is pulling you someplace. You got struck here, okay? You got struck by something and you're not following it, so you're feeling torn. Happiness arises from within my heart and sets me free. Beautiful. It says, there is no need to fear. Something you feared was going to happen will not take place. A challenge will reveal itself as a hidden blessing. You are freed from trouble, and although you may not realize it now, you will soon be entering a more graceful, happy time in your life. Lady Bird is an omen of better times and good luck ahead. Do not overwhelm yourself with expectations or difficulty or disaster. Let the past be the past. It is time 
for your heart to be happy and free. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We have surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on the positive affirmations. Yeah, we don't need to chase negative thoughts. We don't need to heavily charge them with emotions. We can let them come, not resist it, and then see it out. All right, surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. All right. We have the third eye chakra, number six with Ajna. Ajna, I don't know how to say that. Third eye chakra, qualities, intuition, wisdom, clarity, and vision. Okay. We have the air with unseen potential and hesitation. Well, we do definitely know that the third eye is the unseen potential here um, that exists, that you intuitively know exists, greater potential. And then the hesitation is this indecision that we're sitting on here. Okay, so we have unicorn. Wow, this is all about uh, synchronicities. Spirit is really pulling you towards something here. There's a spiritual shift happening here, spiritual growth with this unicorn. Okay, and then we have Paul the Venetian with experience, experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you, your gifts. Okay, and then finally, we have the path to light. I make the conscious choice, decision again, to move towards the light. One step at a time, I transform my weakness into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. Gifts, your gifts, your gifts. Oh my goodness, you guys are gifted. Okay, so. It's time. Plenty of material things. So you guys are being blessed here by the universe and i feel is very energetically charged and you know what this is because it's speaking to your heart and it's pulling at your heart space here and i feel like you have the ability to really set yourself up here with whatever this is okay the ability the skill the talent the thing you need that you think you don't have you have it in fact, you are it, but you have to make the decision to choose it. Make the decision to choose it. So how do you overcome this big challenge and this obstacle? You have to choose to do it. You cannot allow your mind to make the decision for you. And so I feel as though This blessing that you're being gifted is something that you need to take action on. But I feel like your mind is maybe telling you that there's something you have to do with yourself here in order to make that decision. So you sit indecisive, like you have to become someone you're not or do something that you're not comfortable doing. And so I feel this is coming from your mind space and it's not a truth. So the recovery into grace, I feel, is you allowing yourself to shift your thinking to positive thoughts and acceptance of yourself by releasing any hesitation and knowing that there's unseen potential right now that you intuitively know within yourself in this circumstance that is calling you to act so that you can be gifted with abundance and blessings and luck and everything else that the universe wants to give to you that is very heavily charged and now is the time we cannot sit in indecision any longer and i feel like if you're seeing challenge know that we can see it but we don't have to 
feel we have to resolve or overcome some sort of challenge in order to accomplish what we need to accomplish because you will be accomplishing something here and that the challenge becomes blessings in disguise and that you are heavily protected here with this safety. That once you are centered and once you trust that you're full of this ability, that whatever seemed like a challenge, whatever seems like an obstacle is no longer getting in your way here because you have everything it takes here. You have the skill, the talent, the potential within you to accomplish this successfully. And once you do this, I, I feel like you are growing spiritually here. You become very aware of who you're supposed to be and what your gift is to this world. You're no longer sitting in conflict and trying to figure out. It becomes like a ray of light here. It sets you free. And so if you're seeing a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities, if you're feeling pulled spiritually and being guided, you're being called to act. And in which direction you'll know because it's the direction that you most likely are fearing the most. Because you might be telling yourself that there's other things and other commitments and and it's okay that you have other commitments and things. But, but I feel as though what Spirit is showing is that it, it is not selfish for you to move forward in this endeavor. That you are supported by the universe and that you will have more abundance, not less. You're not giving up anything, you're gaining. And so we might be thinking that we would not be able to pull something off here. And so we remain little. We remain stuck or we, may, we remain indecisive. And we come up with a bunch of reasons why we could not or should not or have not. Which causes the conflict. A recovery into grace, experiencing grace. So yes, you definitely need to show grace. And in order to transform ourselves with the spiritual growth, anything that you feel is a weakness here is just coming from a mind space. That you overcome this by leaning into your strength, by knowing that you do have the ability and the capability to make something happen here. And that you need to develop these gifts because it is a gift to engage in things that we're learning, that we're not gonna be superstar experience right from the hop, but that we have the ability within us to become a superstar and once we develop these gifts, but it's unfolding exactly as it should. And that you are a gift here that you're providing, but not if we're sitting indecisive, not if we're not making a decision, not if we're hesitant, and then we're sitting in a mindset here that doesn't allow us the freedom to choose something we already intuitively know. So, lots of abundance for you here. I'm going to ask spirits, is there anything more for pile two in regards to what they can do to overcome this greatest challenge that they're faced with right here, right now, spirit? Can we get some more for pile two? What is it they can do exactly? Clear and concise message for beautiful pile two. What can they do? Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 2. Spirit, what can they do? Thank you so much, Pile 2, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I'm truly blessed. Star, wishes coming true. Beautiful. Look at this. Our long-term vision or hope or desires for the future here. This is dreams coming true. And it also provides us with healing to be able to step in line with our dreams. Hope. 
and we have adjustments with the uh, judgment. So we have not judgment, I'm sorry, justice. We have the justice card, which is Libra, the scales, justice, balance, bringing justice, bringing a sense of justice and balance here. Aquarius, Libra, and the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is very fast-moving energy, and it faces the challenge. If there is conflict, it faces it head-on. It doesn't hesitate. The Knight of Swords does not hesitate at all. And fights for what he believes in here, for what is just. I feel there is some sort of... Well, we have judgment here. Okay. There's something here that's going to bring justice. And I feel like you understand this on an intuitive level. That you're being called to step forward in your courage to face what this is. But I think you haven't been very honest about seeing it or taking action. Well, we know this because it says you're indecisive and not making a decision. And so, therefore, you're not bringing justice to yourself or to a situation. And I feel like what Spirit's really showing is in order for you to overcome this obstacle, you have to make the decision here, which you know is in line with your intuition by facing maybe your greatest fear here. But what you get is your biggest wish. Is your hopes and your desires coming true? And maybe you feel as though your biggest wish, your biggest hope and desires coming true is something that maybe you feel you're not deserving of. So therefore we hesitate. But there is no need because spirit is showing that you have all of the ability here in order to succeed with stepping forward here. And this justice says adjustment. So I think maybe you have a difficult time adjusting you know, and it certainly could be why we're in this negative uh, thinking sort of pattern because we need to adjust the way we think and we also need to release that we can, well, this is can fix someone, but I feel like it, it's yourself. Like, I feel like you are trying to be something you're not or do uh, tell yourself you're something you're not in order to protect yourself or keep you from acting but it's actually harming you okay and i want to say harm i mean it's 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 limiting you it's restricting you and it's not allowing you to attain the star so we have worry with the five of pentacles and we have the knight of cups so two knights now knights are all about taking action and then we have the Knight of Wands. Three knights. Time to take action. It's time. The Passionate Knight. Act now, think later. The Knight of Swords, which is acting, speaking in truth, taking action, quick action, not being fearful, going, facing the biggest challenge, and being prepared to do so. And the Page of Cups, or the Page, sorry, the Knight of Cups. Expressing oneself, expressing one's emotions, coming from a place of love. So, action, 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 okay? And I feel like we're sitting here in a Five of Pentacles, which is feeling left out. Feeling maybe like we are unable to, but the Five of Pentacles is always one where we can get ourselves out of a situation in order to take action to bring in what we want. So you're being called to act right now, okay? So I feel like if you had a question here, the answer is yes, move forward, take action. That you're more than capable of being successful here. The only way you won't be successful is if you don't move forward and, and decide to choose this, whatever the, this thing is here. Okay, so this is what I see, pile two. I hope this helped you. Um, I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile three. Oh my goodness, you guys picked the gecko lizard. 
and grace in full flight card 13 here so we'll get into what this is about um i wanted to let you guys know the question uh, which we asked spirit was how can you overcome your greatest challenge right here right now energetically there's a challenge an obstacle something that uh, you're trying to overcome and you're not quite sure how to overcome it so this will be more about how you can overcome not necessarily the challenge itself okay um so that's kind of what i asked spirit and i have not looked at these cards so i do ask that you use your intuition what you will see feel or hear to determine whether this is indeed your pile your message okay so this is probably my favorite card in this whole deck this grace in full flight because what this means is it is time like you are now ready to enjoy the blessings that the universe is about to bestow on you like you're you're at your full capacity here okay now we're always growing and ascending for sure but i feel like this is an energy of someone who has been through a big journey here and now she's at the point where she's just going to take off okay so completely take off here so i'm not seeing any obstacle other than the fact that we've been through probably a lot of challenge and a windy road and maybe we're right at the precipice of this road and so we're not quite sure what comes next and spirit is saying nothing challenging open your arms and allow the universe to let you sail free like this is freedom this is beautiful energy okay and the gecko spiritually means renewal it's a rebirth here okay because the gecko sheds its skin and i feel like you're being reborn like this is you kind of reborn now um from all the work everything that you've done you're now this reborn energy that's going to enjoy this new phase is kind of what i feel okay so let's see we'll pull these um or reveal these and we'll go through it so we have angel numbers with 60 pay attention to the signs your angels are trying to deliver a message oh my goodness okay card 60 or six we have caterpill caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming okay well certainly we're feeling a change from what we've been used to healing your body mind and soul are in a period of deep healing right now you're going through many transformations at once oh geez and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart well look how open her heart and her arms are okay i feel like you have been healing for quite some time focus you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and towards what is paying extra attention to where you place your focus is the first step toward creating an amazing life i feel like things are about to get into focus for you guys pile three is what i feel examining self-identity 22 or the number four well self-identity is certainly where we come into our authentic self we're reborn as who we're supposed to be 22 is reduced to the number four and and four is all about our um our emotions our foundation this is a home family roots okay so self-identity we have 42 or the number six again with animal soul friends animal soul friends oh my goodness okay beautiful colors and we have guardian this beautiful guardian angel you guys have such pretty cards wow feeling a very strong angelic presence here i'm gonna shimmy them over a little so we have more space for all these we have stillness number four coming out again look at that beautiful girl looking out into the magical forest we see squirrels birds bunnies all sorts of different flowers here okay journey wow okay peace i am a being of love and i release all negative energy i hope you guys can see that perfect we have canary delight joy and surrender affirmation i sing my soul song with joy 
Wow, and look, another girl. And look at how similar their dresses are with the little frills at the bottom. And she's also in, in sort of some wooded land with all these birds here and with the wild canary. Okay, it says, reconnect with your true self. What was I saying about your true self? What do you feel, think, or enjoy? What would bring more delight and happiness into your life? Break from your usual routines and give yourself permission to be quiet, to be in solitude, and to heal. Heal coming out again. When you are ready, you will burst into soul song once more. Canary is a positive sign that new energies of light, happiness, and expressiveness are awakened in your world. You will find and share your beauty your beautiful soul voice with the world with the world wow isn't that pretty oh my goodness you guys are there surrender to miracles be open to miracles occurring in your life feel and know that these events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubts that miracles can happen wow holy camoly we see the dolphins there two of them so we have release 27 or the number nine with kali mudra Okay, and it says, I release all obstacles and align to my true nature, true self coming through again. Release. Okay, we have the hound, loyalty, chains, and promises. Sort of truth getting dissolved here. Okay, we have rooster. This is divine masculine energy with the rooster. And we have St. Germain with karma releasing, move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. Beautiful. And then we have gratitude. I am aware of the light in my life. I direct my thoughts to be the beauty in and around me. I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. Thus, I enlighten my thoughts, riches surround me, and I appreciate all that life brings me. Okay. I feel as though. Where do we put this? Because I feel like it's not really... There we go. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Okay. I don't know where you guys are on the scale. Okay. A, a, a frequency here because energy does not sit linear. But what I'm seeing here and kind of where you're headed here. I feel like it's been a challenging journey for you. Pile number three. And oh my goodness, if you guys could only feel and see where you guys are stepping into. And you could be right here, right now, in this, in this, um, the precipice of stepping over to this beautiful blessing of what's about to come through for you. It's like you're coming into your true authentic self, what you're supposed to be doing here on planet Earth. Okay. And, and I feel as though. Some of you guys are kind of right at the end here of getting still from a period of having to completely release things that were not serving you. I feel things were holding you back. You might have believed certain things to be true that might have disappointed you. I feel like you had to learn to surrender. But also I feel like what Spirit is saying is allow yourself to believe in miracles. That the miracle that you knew intuitively was coming because you've been seeing signs you've been seeing angel numbers you've been having dreams maybe even connecting with animals here okay and, and what they're trying to show you here is this beautiful dream that you have is about to come true that anything that was oppressing you anything that was holding you back anything that felt like it was not aligned to allowing you to be free is being set free this karma is being released you're no longer going to be held back here okay you're finding peace and so you're right at the verge of this rebirth of this karma being set free of whatever you are needing to learn here because it's been quite to the journey and so as you Take the time for the stillness, and this is enjoying nature, enjoying animals, plants. Whatever you need to do in order to become grounded and still, 
because I feel like it's been a flurry of energy or quite the journey here that allowed you to heal. It was very healing and we're always kind of healing, but I feel like the bulk of whatever you are healing is something that you've been very focused on. And I feel like we're now releasing a lot of that pain. We're now releasing a lot of what was holding us back so we can get focused on the next part of our journey here. And the next part is a blessing. I feel you're heavily protected here with this guardian. And I, I feel as though you guys are coming through as an angelic presence here that you're bringing to the world, okay? That you're bringing a beautiful light with your authentic self that's shining through with all the healing that you've had to do. So what did you have to do to overcome your obstacle? I don't think you're having to do anything except for getting still. Be hopeful that the miracle is coming. Know that you're finding peace here. I think you feel it. I think you sense it. And you might have been sitting in this sort of energy space of relief. Okay, especially if you've already released something here. I think you know that the karma release is happening. And I think you're making room for what's to come. You had to make room for what's to come. And what's to come is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's get some more. Because I mean, for all of you guys, what's to come is, is definitely going to be specific to your own visions of what you knew you was coming towards you okay so spirit wants you to pay attention to what these signs symbols synchronicities are what you might be getting like i said through animals through walking through nature it's all going to point you in the right direction now that you're in your authentic sort of energy so i'm going to pull three more actually spirit so clear and concise message here for the greatest and highest good of pile three what do they need to know in regards to overcoming any of these challenges that they're faced with. More information, Spirit, please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of Pile 3. Thank you so, so much. And thank you so much, Pile 3, for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I am truly blessed. Thank you so much. We'll read them on the upright. The lovers. Oh, my goodness. Gemini energy. Okay. Hierophant, this came out for pile one in the exact same spot, Taurus energy. We have the six of wands, victory. Oh my goodness. We have the knight of pentacles. And we have the five of pentacles. And we have lust, which is the strength card in this tarot pack. Okay, lust and lovers, my goodness. Okay, lots of passion with the wands here. Pile three. This is such a, a very powerful reading here, okay? I feel like you have been on a journey here um, that's been really pulling you towards your life's calling here, destiny. This is about aligning ourselves with the people that we value and aligning ourselves down a path of what we feel is how we want to live our lives okay who do we trust and value that we can share our lives with what can we engage with here that's going to be of the greatest purpose that we can possibly show up in you know what sort of people what sort of energy are we supposed to be sort of encompassing here in order to fulfill some sort of greater purpose lifestyle so i feel like this is the path you've been on okay and i feel like you're like i said you're right there you're having success here okay and if you haven't got to this success yet i feel like you're still releasing the karma that was holding you back in some way you shattered whatever illusions i felt was getting in the way here of you having victory and success in aligning yourself with this greater truth and this greater power. I feel it's been very, 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 very slow. I feel like you've been left out in the cold. And I feel like you finally moved out of staying, you know, where you were feeling left out, where you were feeling like things weren't working out for you. Because I feel like your passion, your desire... And your ability to face whatever you had to face here in order to move forward and release whatever you had to release. I think you've already taken action. So if you haven't done this, 
know that this is how you're going to get out of your challenge. You're releasing what has been holding you back. You're refocusing on what matters to you. You're choosing the path that's actually aligned for your highest calling. You're going to be successful. You're going to be victorious. Okay. And I feel it's all because you're being pulled passionately by what this is. Your spirits team is guiding you towards what this is. You already intuitively know because you've been seeing numbers and you know where you're supposed to be headed. It feels right. It doesn't feel restrained. It doesn't feel restricted. You know you're releasing karma and you're creating your own path here because it feels welcoming. And so you might be hesitant here and I feel like it's because from going from a period that's been very challenging, very slow going and feeling like suffering here, okay? Lots of worry. Worried if you'll ever get there. Worried if things would ever align for you. And now, Spirit wants you to enjoy this peace. Now is your time. Grace in full flight. It's your time to fly. Okay, you're being reborn here. So, know that it is always your choice. Okay, but I, I feel like for some time, maybe we weren't seeing the right path. The people we were supposed to align with. Because it wasn't either made available or because we were held back. And so we're no longer held back. We now have the key. We now have the wisdom. We now have an understanding. We now know what we value. We no longer wear a mask. We're now identifying who we are, what's true to us. We're able to act on our instinct of what value means in order for us to be successful here. And I feel like you will be celebrated. You will be celebrated by those around you. I feel like you're coming together with your family, your soul people, your soul person, your dream career, your life purpose. That's what this is all about. Okay, so beautiful pile three. But what do you need to do? I think enjoy the stillness. If you're still working on releasing bits of whatever has you held back here, I, I feel like it's going to come where you're just ready to release where you're able to open your arms up to joy and you surrender to the universe, to what comes in here. And so I feel this positivity is coming in for you guys, okay? So enjoy the energy of quietness and peace because you will be sort of entering a new phase here. And, and this phase is, um, is one that brings you back into focus, back into sort of the limelight here. Okay, because I, I feel like you're out of the limelight right now. I feel like you're kind of hidden from the world and it's much needed because a lot of healing was happening. That's why it was happening kind of for you, not really to you. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. Pile three. I hope this resonated. I love you very, very much and I will see you soon. Bye.